Now to the school cheating scandal that is gripping the city of Atlanta. A former superintendent and 34 of her employees accused of an elaborate scheme to fake test scores. Three of them already turning themselves in this morning. And ABC's Steve Osinsami has the very latest from Atlanta. Steve, good morning. Good morning, Amy. These are school principals, teachers, test coordinators, even a school secretary. And they all have to turn themselves into the jail today. Early this morning, the first of many mugshots, Tamika Goodson, a school improvement specialist, turning herself in, brought down by the huge cheating scandal rocking Atlanta. As a parent that wants the best for the child, I'm very disappointed. The same teachers and school administrators who were bragging just a few years ago about double-digit improvements in standardized test results now charged with racketeering, theft, and false statements, and they've lawyered up. At one school, investigators say the principal and his teachers held after-school parties where they sat around and corrected tests before turning them in to be graded. The financial terms were a motivation all across the board. The indictments read like a rap on the mob, and the boss is former Atlanta School Superintendent Beverly Hall, who could see up to 45 years in prison if convicted. She's one of the few expected to spend the night in jail. Her bond could be set as high as $7.5 million. She's accused of firing teachers who couldn't produce higher test scores, giving bonuses to those who did, and ignoring clear signs that teachers were cheating to make the scores happen. She and other accused educators are shouting their innocence. I am actually considered a criminal for doing the best I can for children all my life. When the going was good, Superintendent Hall was a hero. She earned more than half a million dollars in bonuses and was named a National Superintendent of the Year. The Atlanta newspaper that broke the story looked across the country and found 196 school districts with equally suspicious scores. No one wants to hear that those improving test scores aren't for real. Many teachers across this region blame the troubles here on No Child Left Behind, those federally mandated tests and the scores that measure schools.